you can get a laptop with an Intel i7 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, and a 256 gigabyte SSD drive for under $200. I just did it. Let me show you how. So the laptop behind me, that is, that is not the laptop that is normally sitting behind me, which is a Toshiba satellite. No, this is a Lenovo ThinkPad, a E535, a L Lenovo ThinkPad Edge with a 15.6 inch screen, an i7 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, and a 256 gigabyte SSD drive. Now I've been looking for good deals on older hardware because I need more equipment to test out distros on the channel. And I came across someone selling, actually you can find a lot of people selling used laptops, especially ThinkPads, very popular. Those things run great on Linux. I found someone selling a ThinkPad E535 with an Intel i7 processor and 4 gigs of RAM with no hard drive for $100. Straight up $100 bill for i7, 4 gigs of RAM, no hard drive, used. Uh, and it's very lightly used. I mean, it is in practically new condition. I mean, look at the keyboard. I mean, that thing, it's immaculate, really. The keyboard and the screen, there are some uh, scratches on the outer chassis, on the outer shell, but I mean, minor stuff. This was probably like a store floor display or something. Uh, it, it hasn't seen any real use. So... Very, very good quality laptop for a hundred dollar bill. I got on Amazon and I ordered a SP. Let's see if I can get that to focus. SP, which stands for Silicon Power, 256 gigabyte SSD drive for $54.99. Uh, reads up to 550 megabytes, uh, right up to 450 megabytes. So Pretty decent uh, read and write speeds for $55 for a 256 SSD drive. So I got this thing today. Let me show you some pictures. I just got it this afternoon. Uh, got the laptop and the SSD. Both were shipped to me today. Uh, again, so $100 for the laptop, $55 for the SSD. And you can see the uh, Lenovo ThinkPad E535. You unscrew three screws on the back here and this back plate pops out and you can see where the hard drive or the SSD drive should sit here and here is the new SP 256 gig SSD you just plug that right into the SATA you know screw it down there there's some screws included put the uh, the back on I mean that took all of three minutes and I fired up my new new to me laptop and installed Linux on it uh, I didn't. I, I wanted to test this thing out right away, so I was searching for USB sticks of uh, Linux distros I had just laying around. I didn't want to take the time to download something. I just wanted to test it out right away. Just a few days ago, I did a test of Deepin 15.6 on the channel, so I already had that ISO. I had it on a USB stick, so I went ahead and installed Deepin 15.6 on my new Lenovo ThinkPad. This is me sharing that screen. This is this laptop behind me running Deepin. I'm showing you this in Team Viewer, by the way. So I installed Team Viewer here in Deepin. It was available in the Deepin Software Center. So they include non free software in the Deepin Software Center. So you can find things like Team Viewer, Dropbox, Zoom that I sometimes use, uh, and various other non free stuff. I'm sure Spotify is probably there. Actually, Spotify, I think, was installed by default in Deepin. Yep. So anyway, I, I got Deepin up and running on my new laptop just to test out something. Uh, I doubt I'm going to keep Deepin on that laptop because it's not my kind of uh, distro, mainly because it's kind of heavy, kind of sluggish. Uh, actually, it runs blazing fast on this i7 with 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's a little sluggish here, but this is not a fair representation. This is through TeamViewer, so we're doing some remote desktop here is why it's a, a little sluggish here, but man on this i7 with four gigs the deep and desktop environment is actually quite fast uh, and it's gorgeous uh, why won't i keep deepen on that laptop though the repos 
uh, actually the repos are fine, but the uh, download speeds, the mirror speeds, very slow. Installing something like TeamViewer, for example, takes, I don't know, two, three, four minutes for one program. And every program I've tried to install is like that. Firefox took forever to pull down. Uh, I installed Dropbox. That took, you know, a minute or two. And Dropbox is not a very big program. Uh, the Zoom client took a while. So they have really got some slow mirrors. I don't know where all the mirrors are. I know some of them are, of course, in China because it's a Chinese-based distro. I think a lot of them are also in South America. But uh, I probably won't keep Deepin because it, it's kind of frustrating, to be honest, with the uh, slow package management or with the, the download speeds are just hideously slow. So I'm probably going to hop to something else on here, probably tomorrow. Again, I had the ISO for Deepin sitting around. That's why I went ahead and put it on this machine today because I was excited to test out, you know, my new laptop. All in all, though, paid $100 for a laptop, i7, 4 gigs for $100 bills. Uh, paid about 15 bucks to have it shipped to me. So about 115 bucks for that. Paid $54.99 on Amazon for their SSD drive. Uh, shipping, if you guys got Amazon Prime, of course you can do free shipping. Or if you bundle it with other stuff you're buying, a lot of times you can get free shipping. So shipping for that's not a problem. All in all, what am I in on my new laptop? 170 bucks. And this thing is... I mean, if you went and bought something with these kinds of specs at, at the store, at a local Best Buy, I mean, what are you going to spend? Five, six hundred dollars? I, I don't know. But you're probably going to spend at least three to four times what I spent, you know, buying this used laptop and throwing a cheap, you know, Taiwanese SSD drive in it. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, all in all, man, you know, this is the way to go. I may, I may never buy a new laptop ever again. Uh, I am so happy. <laughs> and there are like a million of these Lenovo ThinkPads on eBay for sale. These used ThinkPads that nobody wants. Some, Most of them actually have no hard drive, no operating system. But again, you buy these cheap SSDs, throw in them, and they run lightning fast. Uh, really a good way, you know, to uh, resurrect some of these machines that people are basically selling. I mean, it, I actually feel kind of bad that I have this machine and I didn't even spend $200 on it. It's almost like I stole the thing. <laughs> anyway, before I go, I do want to give a special thanks to my patrons, all my Patreon supporters, David, Carlos, Nick, Daniel, Brian, Leor, A.K., Ron, Keith, Dan, Michael, Tony, Bruno, David, Mike, Silvio, Omar, Mark, Mr. Ne Neely Pops, John, Carl, Greg, Rob, Matt, Christian, Tiedemann, Stephen, Z, Eduardo, Alex, Jake, Benjamin, Stephen, B., Marcus Interceptor, Tubella, Humade, Paul, and Chuck. You guys rock. You guys help make this show possible. Peace, guys.